All right, guys, I got a little drill here to separate the grip pressures and the grip mechanics from your support hand and your dominant hand. So, right, we always death grip the gun with our support hand and we're more relaxed in there with our dominant hand. Um, I'm starting to challenge that a little bit and to tear it apart and to make sense of it, to get some actual data, what I've ended up doing is this. I'm five yards away from a 12 by 20, so super easy target. Yes, it's steel, but yes, it's also at a decent angle, so spall is less of an issue here. Um, what I'm gonna do is a strong hand only bill drill on this with full grip pressure. You guys, if you guys have run the bill drill, you know you have to have some perception of trigger control and reset in there just so you don't get trigger freeze. Not so much as a precision game, but uh, if you are not um, running the trigger with some sort of feel behind it, you'll just lock the gun up or you won't go to reset, whatever. So this is a good one to just see how much you're actually getting from that support hand. to reload there but we've got half of a bill drill and that is in 139 so first shot is 101 and then 0.2 and 0.18 if the difference between my strong hand being on the gun and not is 0.02 seconds in split time uh, you know it's for one thing it's good to know that this all the death grip in the world is only giving me 0.02 or 0.04 on those magic days when I'm breaking those, you know, repeatable 0.14 splits. Let's run it again with a full string. So it chased him off of that top left. Okay. I can see where there's some benefit to the, the hand there. Uh, still coming out of the holster in 104, 0 0.2, 0 0.18, 0 0.15, 0 0.17, 0 0.15. So those are the shots where I was breaking them before I was returning back on to target with the dot. Let's see if we can get a clean run. That's 194, my first shot was out. So again, this is five yards. You can see I'm still within that calm alpha zone on this target. Remember, this isn't a full-size silhouette. This is 12 inches wide. So I've got a good three inches on either side of that group. That means I know that I'm in that calm alpha zone. Um, again, let's get a clean one. All right, that's 179. So breaking it down, let's actually get it so you guys can see what I'm seeing here. 0 0.94 on the draw, 0 0.19, 0 0.17, 0 0.16, 0 0.17, 0 0.16. And you can see on the target there, gosh, there may be those are pretty dang close to being perfs if I put the, uh, if I cut out a com alpha and cardboard and put it over there. Is this how you should run your gun, right? Am I, am I trying to say, oh, you don't need the spore end? Absolutely not. But you ought to know what that is getting you if you're running in that freestyle two hand on, on the gun all the time, right? Always look for a way to game it out. 